Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is uh, Okami on the Wii because we have no other way to play it right now. I don't feel like spending like 15, 20 bucks for a new version. So. Push, just push it already. Yep. Yeah, after the shit show that happened with Valkyria Chronicles and my fucking PS3 deciding to, you know, not work. Just completely crapping the bed. Oh, dude, I thought it was just gonna be a little crap the bed. No. No, it's super it, crap it the bed. It shed itself pretty bad. It just. It's a fucking black box. I right did now. whole. I made a whole eulogy video on it. Yeah, and I was like, dude, you made that fucking seem so depressing. <laughs> I was like, wow. Jesus Christ. But don't worry, I copied all the save files, so we're safe on it. It's on that hard drive. This is like weird, not Animal Crossing. Are you able to do that? Hmm. Are you doing an Animal Crossing? Like, nah. So what's your history it, with this game? Uh, I played it all the way like years ago on the PS2. Never really got too far. Like beat Orochi, and that's about it. I always get stuck on a uh, a segment. Oh, so this is gonna be fun. A lot of improv, I see. Then. Yep. So summarize. What the fuck is going on? Big dragon. Big dragon doing what? Anything at once. It's an eight-headed dragon. We have to kill it. We need to fuck the dragon. It's like that one post is pretty much back then. We need to kill the dragons. That a little later, we need to train the dragons, and then now. We need to fight. Stop! Yep. A mysterious white wolf. So is this game mostly based off like Buddha religion okay. and shit? No, Japanese. It's it's Jap. It. Uh, Look, I'm not gonna be able to regurgitate the story. Anyway, dubbed Shiranui, which was Shiranui. this wolf. Yeah, we're playing the Wii version because we had it, and we thought, hmm, this could be convenient. However, it's a little less convenient because composites can suck it. Composite isn't good video quality, and component will take me a fickle bitch if I could find the cord. Yep. Because Alan brought by like this weird component cord that goes into fucking everything. Yeah. Like it's one of those multi adapter go into like PlayStation, a fucking Xbox, GameCube, Wii. I think it's in that box actually. We might have to check that the next recording or some shit. Yes. Hmm. So yeah, the shit's- oh. <laughs> Let's see how fast this turns into Platinum Games. How long do you think it'll take that until you're in that scenario? Eh. You're screaming, you're freaking out, and everything's throwing a billion things at you, right? Shit, 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 shit! I don't know. They fucked. Uh, thanks, Zach. No, no, like, I'm gonna prove myself to you, and then... Mm. Mm. It's like, to prove my love, I'm gonna beat Orochi once and for all. Yeah. And so he traveled to the beast cave, with his big sword and a wolf buddy. Woo. The moon cave. So, for it, five, six, seven... How many fucking hands does this thing have? Eight. Eight? Yep, eight. So it's a fucked up Hydra. Kinda. It's an eight-headed dick Hydra. With its body as being a bell. Because reasons. Because Japan. Because they come up with the weirdest shit. I don't remember what video I was watching. It was pretty much like, this is how you pretty much describe what happens. Like, Western, as Westerners, we do not know how to do fantasy worth ass. Like, we're pretty much stuck with the basics. But Japan, what the fuck is going on? What is this thing? So anyway, uh, Nagi went to oh, be Orochi, but then Orochi's just super strong and Nagi couldn't do it. <laughs> What'd you expect from an eight head and <laughs> But then suddenly Wolf came out. <laughs> Protect his human buddy. 
Because all dogs go to heaven and they're good doggos. No, because then he used a secret power of microtransactions. He grabbed his wolf link amiibo and scanned it in to help him out. But just imagine that now. It was basically he has a sword, but he has like the Sheikah slate right in the middle of it, and he just scans a fucking amiibo right on top. <laughs> I summon Wolf in attack mode. God, this card is short as fuck. It'd be better if I did not. Damn it. I know he'd been. The wolf fought. <laughs> then the, the wolf, wolf fought back. The wolf fought the dragon. Oh no. Holy shit, this cat seems long. It's very long. As expected from... Uh, Clover. Mechanics! <gasps> Mechanics! Okay, so we are planning on somewhat doing this on my computer so we can upscale the fuck out of it. Oh, we're gonna get it. Control us to work. No, it's just that the fact that I forgot... Oh, right, I don't know how to get pointer working, and this is a very pointer-heavy game. What, you don't want to try doing a pointerless run? You can. Are you sure? You can. Try killing an enemy, all the enemies without it, with basic attacks. No, you needed to progress the game. Oh. Well, gorsh. What the fuck? You would have been a fucked up setup I would have done would have been. Hmm. We setting up the weird mode perfectly fine, but we had the pointer connected to the mouse, so every time you did something you just did it with the mouse really quick and then switch back to the weird mode. And what and like look it into. And then he sure used his phone edge. Just to give in while while they were uh, worn out. So then they gave a howl. And now with his phone edge, he shall slay the dog. Wait, wrong story. The black cloud. Yeah, basically, you howl, the moon comes out. Can you use moon blast now? More like moon sword. Moon sword. Because the, uh... I'm surprised that isn't a move. Yeah. Not good who's been taken child stood proudly to face the adversary. Uh, have you heard about the unfortunate news that apparently happened today? What? Uh, Kyoto uh, animation burnt down today. Oh, cool. oh no. Yeah. So it's like, damn it, and that's a really good studio. Mm. Anyway. Then Nagi uh, killed Orochi. Oh no. Is Orochi still the final boss? Mm. I'm not hearing a no. Holy shit, we've almost been in this cutscene for 10 minutes. Yeah, it's long. He cut off all his heads. So Does it grow two more heads afterwards? No, it's kind of Hydra. Oh. This one's like a little thigh then. Actually. What would this be called? It's a Rochi. No, I'm thinking, I was like, what would be multi-headed? It's a Rochi. Okay. And anyway, the dog's dead. Oh no, puppers. And then the majestic Koho and came down and made it into the fourth legendary dog beast. What? I forgot, is Sweet a dog or a cat also? Dog. Okay. I, I say they're all dogs. But Raikou is a. Yeah, like Frank is the most cat like, but I like, But I've also heard people who have went anti to a lion. No. They're like a mixture between the two. Yeah. Anyway, dog died, so now we Another shrine and now by the power of uh, Japanese prayers shall revive this statue into a god. That's definitely Anyway, Nagi's sword was christened Tsukuyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all look forward to an age of endless peace. And then the doggo grabbed the sword, and that's how we got sword and shield. 
No. Hang on. This is not the end of the story. As we have color now. We have color now, bitches. This is real time. A hundred years have passed since Nagi and Shiro nearest heroic exploits. <laughs> you do a quick little animation of just pretty much Link waking up, but instead of it's... <laughs> it's been a hundred years. Oh, come yeah. It's been a hundred years. It happened so quickly. None of the villagers even took notice that it happened. What, a hundred years? Or just how? <clears throat> this place is evil. Oh, hey, look at that cool sword. Who's this? Is that the legend of a sword? This is Sukiyomi, the sword of banished and dreaded of Ochi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. Is this another one of those things Nothing where... but a fairy tale. <laughs> Damn it, why are you now just going full Mr. Satan? Wait. Is this one of those things like the equivalent of Persona? If it's a rumor, it's real. It's like that if it's a legend, it's real. Anyway. Unleash my I unleash my power. I make a wish to light. Oh, damn it! Anyway, so he just completely nopes out of there. I would. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit. And that's how one guy kind of doomed the world. Yeah. As more of those stories go. No, and then I'm reminded of the stupid shit that happens in the movie. All the issues of the world pretty much goes to the equivalent of when you ask your one parent, can I have this? They tell you no. You ask the other parent and they say yes, and then the other parent gets fucking pissed. Oh no. <laughs> That's literally how I can say Ruby is. That's pretty much the main character, uh, the main villain is like, Ask the good god, can you revive my boyfriend? No, that's against the order. Ask the evil god, can you revive my boyfriend? Oh. Sure. The good god comes by, what the fuck have you did, brother? You can't revive that. Yes, you can. It's <laughs> like, bitch. Horrible tragedies, lands, and stuff over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. A tiny settlement of Kamaki village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Awaken, doggo. Ah, big titty lady. Yep. Hi, Sakia. God damn it. Hmm. I'm noticing the Japanese symbolism. It's the man her fucking tits of peach. Yep. God damn it. She's the goddess of the peach tree. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so I was a bottle of water and I was drinking it, I accidentally smacked it on my chair and it fucking sprayed everywhere. Damn it. <laughs> Good thing there was nothing really that we could get fucked by. They only the Elgato recording and my microphone. <laughs> but it didn't splash next to those. I hope. Yo, sun god, look at my boobs, and become this mirror. Now we're using the mirror of twilight to summon the power of the gods. More like the power, the mirror of the sun. Ah. Oh, okay. I'm a statue. Roll credits. Okami Amaterasu. Roll credits. The sun goddess. Which I find white light. You know what's really convenient? That since this is an old game, they actually made their text really fucking big so it's even you're able to read it in shit quality. Yep. Right? Like, I remember we got complaints from Pokemon because people couldn't read that text for his ass. Yep. It's like, yep. Oh, 
Ugh. Anyway, Amaterasu is, a uh, Lazy. L very lazy and sassy. Okay. Amaterasu, gaze above you when taken the condition of, this, uh, of the sky. Do you see the hellscape going around around you? Millions of people are dying around you. Well, how do you feel about this right now? Look around you. Do you see all the f I give? Our fine and beautiful country, country. of Nippon. 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 Because your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Oh my gosh, she even has a cutout for her butt. Its own specific physics. Oh my. <laughs> we all know why we play this. Aizen. I was about to say the all magical tit seed. Boing, boing, boing. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. Why are you immediately going into little puff voice? I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Are you? Bug! I told you a thousand times not to call me that! I'm a wandering artist. The name's is soon. And I will do it. Wandering artist is soon. And you have to pay me millions to do a commission. No. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Is he supposed to be like a Pork. Knight? <laughs> okay. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? Ah, shit bug! What's with you, furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, it's been ten. You look kind of familiar. It's been ten. Got it. Days. You look just like that statue of Shiranui. Ah! Ah, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? Yes. A handsome uh, yeah. guy like me should never be covered in wolf slaughter. You'll regret messing with the greatest soon. Don't make me use my prize sword, De Dunkomaru, against you. Zalwardo. What's that growling sound? Why is it so dark anyway? Oh, about that. Did you know that guy accidentally slipped uh, the dragon a few uh, too many? Finish it? What? I'm trying to think of the word. Stogies? <laughs> sure, <laughs> too many stogies. Except it did the opposite effect, because he's evil, I guess. No, the reason why this guy is so dark is he has like eight joints in his mouth at the same time. <laughs> with a huge head. Yep. Just basically... <sighs> we get it, you vape. <laughs> we get it, you vape. Please stop it, or else our world will be covered in darkness forever. By the way, what the fuck are you smoking that is black? Anyway, it's like you're making a tree. Okay. Because trees are kind of the thing that uh, protects the places from the dankness, darkness. That Sakya girl said some sure weird stuff. Ugh. The villager spirits are being kept inside the fruit. What? That's the fruit. The girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of Parkour. special power, there's no way you're gonna re reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Anyway, here's the gameplay. <laughs> Runs in two. Where are we? And awfully quiet all of a sudden. 
Holy shit, I don't dude. Yep. 20 minutes before even game play. Yep. Jesus. I don't remember any place like this in the village. No. We better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the control pad to look around. What's this control? The two button changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Why are you looking at me confused? I only said the two button and then he realizes like, wait, what's the two button? Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your re reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, put it to shortly. You can save your progress here. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you could always go back. In case you get of re stuck recording or crashes, you should you could be able to go back into your previous save file. And be prepared, especially when you're still learning the ropes. Did you hear that? Make different save files. Yep. Make like a fuck ton. Whoop, whoop. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Thing. Twenty-one minutes before even gameplay. Eh. Off we go. Hmm. Look at all these pots just waiting to be broken. <laughs> As you see Link trying to smash it. If you bust the them, there might be something good inside. Swing the Wii remote to bust them up with your head. What? Let it go, my furry friend. You can do that to any time you want to see something you can break. Wait, do you have to physically touch the things, or does it magnetize? Uh... Oh, you have an area of a magnet. Yeah. Oh. Okay, whenever I see the light that appears on your head after you do that, it looks like you can do a combo. Skipping the tutorial, I see. Alright. Get fucked. <laughs> Whoa, 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 hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. that it's a chest tree. Looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Any up that high, huh? Ought to be a piece of cake. Press the A button to jump, and then press the A button again to wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you jump real high. Firmly press it. How long can you stay? Yeah, you could do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So, keep your eyes peeled. We don't want to miss any treasure. Actually, go back down real quick. I want to see how long you're able to hang off of the wall. Not that way. I will find many walls anyway. Mm -hmm. 